Well, the probe into the broad daylight killing of one of the finest crime journalists uh, in the country, uh, J.D. Yesterday, war has started. Police uh, will scrutinize the murdered journalist's uh, call records and question people he spoke with in the last few days. Police is also expected to record statements of his editor at midday and also his colleagues. Meanwhile, the post-mortem report shows five bullets were pumped into him and one bullet that hit his shoulder did not come out. He died due to the bullet injury and the bullets have been sent uh, for ballistic examination to ascertain what weapon was used. Some reports say Day had received threat calls and had sought police protection. Which of these mafias are coming up now? Uh, police will take the very stern actions against them. And the only thing that we have to take them to the jail and they finish the crime. That is the only thing which will protect not only the press people but everybody in the society. Well, Minister Jagan Bujbal has said that very important to get the culprits behind bars. Well, actually, the journalist uh, fraternity completely in shock. A lot of journalists are making their way to J.D.'s house here in Ghatkapar, where his mother actually stays. And a lot of people have come here just because they have read the byline J.D. and appreciate the work that he does as a journalist. Joining me now, senior journalist Jatin Desai, who also alleged that there were threatening calls that were being made to him. So you talked and talking about threatening calls. What sort of threatening calls were being made? Because we knew that he worked on a range of stories. Yeah, yeah, he was getting threatening calls for a very long time. It's not a, something new. And constantly, from the very, uh, I think, uh, from the very midday time, that's, uh, I think, maybe around 97, 98, constantly, because he was doing such kind of story, which was hurting uh, various uh, people who were stake in that. It is necessary that the government must act and government should see that police and underworld nexus, which is at present, doesn't exist. And I really don't think that the government is uh, serious about this. What we think that government must see that police and underworld nexus doesn't exist. And I think unless we, uh, we go to the deep cause into this, I really don't think we'll be able to achieve much. In fact, in protest, the journalist fraternity has also organized a protest march that will start from the press club on Monday at 12 noon, making its way to the Mantralaya, that's the secretariat in Maharashtra. Back to you. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.